Melee. It is Thursday night here, and that is uh, means it's time for another PC GBVS tournament. Uh, I got my uh, co-commentator Tibola here, uh, who is doing double duty as both competitor and commentator, and he is getting ready to face off against the one and only, the master of the DP, Super Saiyan Kid, in Winner's Round 1. Uh, as is usual, we'll be doing all the winner's side on stream, uh, up to top four, and then of course we'll have winners, losers, uh, yeah, winners, finals, losers, finals, losers, semi, and grands for you then. Uh, but we got a pretty nice, uh, got a pretty nice thing going. Yeah, we got I, uh, I had Kid, to... Starks, uh, Searchlight, Flower Man, Black Guy Number Five, Bisu, and M. Falm. Yeah, I had to, uh, I gotta be working this double duty right now. I gotta, I gotta step up my game. Uh, you know, you, I gotta be, I gotta be playing while commenting. I gotta, we gotta be like Callisto. It. Yeah, we're gotta... good for it. Alrighty, so uh, I chose to go with Zoe. Uh, Zoe is Zoe. one of the newer characters that um, came out, or not came out, but like had uh, a lot of buffs. Mm -hmm. And it's a character I've been somewhat oh, messing around with. And what better way to show off what some of the things Zoe can do than to play her? And oh wow, is that? That's not her standard costume, is it? No, no, it's not. So it's actually based off of like a villain color in one of the events in Grand Blue. Gotcha. Uh, oh, I like this one particular wrong. because it uh, it changes the color of the sword to red. <laughs> I almost hit me. Nah, you never want that to happen. Oh wow, we both had the same idea. Oh, All right, there we go, there we, we go. Both had the same idea. Oh, nice wake up. Oh, look at Kid with the jump away. Yeah, it's actually been a good long time since we've seen anybody play Zoe, so I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm digging this. Good lord. I don't recall yeah. her having Charlotta moves. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, her, her normals are ridiculous. And she's also got, uh, she, instead of the ground ball, she has the air ball. But we right. like to call that the Zoe Copter. Oh god, what was that? <laughs> Hold on. I'm, uh, I'm gonna be nice. It's a little bit of delay there. Is right, there? It's, uh, mm. it's good. I, I don't want to take advantage of that. So, alright, I'm good. Alright. Oops. Alright, go to the bait. Go with a nice side. Ooh, unfortunate. Yeah, that's gonna be really punish. Alright, nice, nice saw. Damn it. Uh, oh. Yeah, he got me on the bait there. He got me on the bait there. I he thought did. it was gonna push a button. He was gonna grab He did yep. that, dude. Oh, nice. Call me and jump in. Yeah, he's getting me on the other stuff, so... He's riding a little bit... Ooh, nice second confirm. Nice second confirm. confirm. Nice second confirm. All right. That's I gotta do this wake up. Yep, slightly in Super Saiyan Kid's favor. Oh, nice couple lows. All right, I get the Zoe. Yep. Send out little Zoe. And yeah. Unfortunately, I had the dragon to kind of back me up there, so I was exactly. just going to let the... Let the uh, dragon sort of take care of the you duty while I hang hung back. You flip an ice climber. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, nice I'm not a smash yeah, person. Pizza so. cutter on the way in. Oh, nice, nice, nice little strike. Back yeah, that, those, that that little one-two that he does is so oh, nice. Nice anti-air from Kabola. Gonna get the juggles. Gonna lead him back to the corner. Pin him down with the dragon. Oh. Oh, wow. If he had just been able to step a little longer, he might have been able to avoid that. Oh, he's got one more shot at this. Gets the knockdown. Double smacks. Yeah, oh. unfortunately, that was a really bad spot situation. He had to spot dodge. Oh, uh, and he would have just been caught with chip damage. Okay, so kid starts things off with another uh, low charge. Building some stats. Oh my goodness. The fact that you can disjoint the dragon and have it sit as a, as a turret is just ridiculous. Okay, 
Kick does the nice, water. Nice. Checking the angles. Nice DP. Nice yeah. Ooh, solid pick up there. Oh Another my one. He, he knows I'm weak to the command grab. He knows I'm weak to the command grab. <laughs> you know, he would have gotten a fourth or third one if he did it. <laughs> Super Saiyan Kid goes for the hat trick. Or he should so instead have. of instead of DPS with me, it's the command grab. Oh, he was trying to bait that, bait the uh, the successful DP, but he couldn't get there. Uh, is this death? That's this is close. Pretty low life, so yeah, maybe. Yeah. All right. GG Super Saiyan Kid. GG Super Saiyan Kid. Yeah, he did. Hey, Shallon Pretzels, what up? All right. Uh, let's work this down. Doop, doop, doop. All right, that means our next match is going to be Starks and uh, Searchlight. Oh, boy, the the buddy Searchlights. The, 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 the fellow friend. Wayne, the, the fellow <laughs> Wayne player who lives in a society. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but uh, wait, I'm curious okay. to see. I, so, I'm, wait, uh, is it, so is training Starks or is training Searchlight? Searchlight, that is a... Good question. <laughs> one of which I don't have the answer to until I see the next it's, person come into this room. It's such a huge troll for a name that, like, to be fair, Searchlight has done way worse with, or uh, way, uh, or this is on flavor for Search for him to exactly. go with these types of names. So it's just like it's not really that unusual for him to go in with a name like Training. Or to bowl a sip. I'm never letting him down. Uh, letting that one down. Nice. Uh, <laughs> never letting that one down. But yeah. It, so as, as a fellow Lewain player, I feel that, that we, we still have an un uh, in unseeable bond that we have. We, we we have to stick together. And I, I give him a lot of crap though. But he is really a very good Lewain player, mm -hmm. so I'm very curious to see what he has to show. He, he tends to do a lot more of the the flashy stuff in uh, in comparison to me. <laughs> By Ebola, the way, uh, you, you have a new fan. I don't know if you. Ebola is your new favorite player. Hey man, Ebola is a great player. That's not me though. But, I, just, um... I just have one question: Do you know Dewey? <laughs> Do I know Dewey? Do uh, unfortunately, Dewey? I do not know Dewey, but maybe Searchlight knows maybe Dewey. Maybe Searchlight knows. If he or Starks could get in here. Oh, yeah, and, oh, so then, it's, yeah, it's Starks yeah, on the cap. Stuff. Starks on the cap. Yeah. Okay, okay. Training 100%, Starks. 100%. 100%. Top 100%. Two. Yeah. <laughs> I am not going to say anything about this. I know what that's in referencing to, but I am saving Searchlight. I am not allowing myself to share any more information Not on that. showed up wearing the same thing. How embarrassing. <laughs> exactly. Oh my god. Alright, no, I'm not. He, he decided to use it. it oh, he decided to use Soros. I'm so disappointed. But I, but I actually do think it's great, because now we get to see... What's going on? I, I don't know. Oh! I, I literally... What's going on? It's a Saurus mirror! <laughs> I and it magically speechless. is losing his mind right now. <laughs> I... I don't think I can commentate on this. <laughs> I don't... I don't know what to see, but... Come on, it's like awesome. bum fights, but old men. <laughs> I the Sora's theme with the uh, Sora smear with the Valio theme. Yep, one hundred percent optimal. All right, but on the serious though, they're both trying to feel each other out. I have to imagine the Sora's mirror is a little interesting because of the five U interactions. A lot of his normals, which are very high damaging, might be considered a little dangerous because of the recovery on that. So it would definitely be very interesting to see how it goes on, but. Uh, Searchlight ends up taking the first round in yeah, death. Yeah, he does. I'm just, I'm still... <laughs> Why? Man, you are, you are thrown. <laughs> I mean, I know he has a, I know he has a Sauras, but... Why is it the mirror? That's the part I'm thrown at. <laughs> why is it the mirror? 
Actually, I shouldn't be sad. This is a high, this is probably going to be very hype for all the viewers. So yes. I should be happy along with the viewers. Uh, and so these guys are trying to play footsies with these kicks and these dash punches. And unfortunately, Stars oh, is in the corner, yeah. and that is even big damage. Stars having a bad day right now. Yeah, but I mean, it's Sora's. You know, one good hit can lead to about 80% damage. Oh, yeah. So it was in the install. Yeah. He might not get a chance Ooh. to use it. Yeah. It's not blocking the ankles. Gotta block and, the ankles. Yeah, I always gotta watch it. You know, you never know. You never know when they're gonna be coming to clip your legs. Right. Yeah, Stark's uh, really is playing, uh, playing defensively. Not yeah. A, I wouldn't exactly say that's uh, Soros' strong suit. Well, Soros, I think, has the ability to kind of play both offensive and defensively because of the fact that his normals have such... His normals are pretty decently ranged, so he can kind of try and go for a defensive whip punishing strategy mm. and once he gets like a good whip punishing he's in there and can output a great amount of damage yeah and he can also do like a sort of rope type Oof. thing where he tries to go for install but as, as speaking of install yeah searchlight manager to take it with the install specials and ends up taking two over over stars yep. i'm kind of sad though we didn't get to see any uh any sora's supers I mean, technically, the install is a super. He got to, uh, but I, I but I, but I understand. Yeah. You want to see the one punch, man? Exactly, exactly. Let me add. Oh, you want to see the one punch, man? <laughs> and, you and, the... and you want to see the tiger and dragon? Mm-hmm. All, All righty. One two for Boo Scarlus. Okay, uh, which actually does mean that Super Saiyan Kid and Starks can have their match on uh, loser side. Up next, we are going to have Flower Man. Flower Man and Black Guy number five. Yeah. Flower Man, resident Midwest fairy player. And Black Guy number five, you know, the up and comer. The, uh, I believe, the Cagliostro player. He was here last week and was doing, uh, doing a bit of work, if I do say so. So it'll be interesting to see. Yes. Uh, I, I know. I know Flower Man has played Cagliostro in the past, so I'm very curious to see how Flower Man is going to react in this type of matchup, because I'm not sure how much experience he has with the new buffed Cagliostro. So it'll be very interesting to see. I, yeah. This is a matchup I think, like, I'm actually kind of hyped for, uh, for this matchup right now. Black guy number five, number five. Number five. It's a beautiful. Oh, okay. Knew, okay, so yeah, we are back to fairy. Uh, is mm -hmm. you is is Yule just not working out for Flower Man? Do you think? Or yeah, he dropped. He kind of dropped Yule a while ago. He's kind of he's fairy's been the one character he's definitely found the most comfort with in this game, and it's a good character to you know have the main comfort level with. Mm -hmm. I think he's been trying to experiment, though, with trying to find a secondary, because he definitely does understand that there are certain matchups where he doesn't feel very comfortable in, like, especially specifically against, like, Charlotta. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I think he's been trying to experiment with Cat, and Cat does, in my opinion, very well in the Charlotta matchup. I played the reverse of that as the Charlotta player. I did not like it. It's not to say it's a bad, it's not to say it's a bad matchup. I just didn't like it. Fair. But he's, uh, he's been trying to find a little bit of a groove, but... You know, the one thing I will give credit to Flower Man is that he's choosing to stick with Fairy, and I, I tend to think that people who stick with their mains after they get nerfed tend to do better with those nerfs because it forces them to adapt onto a brand new play style that will tend to throw a lot of people for loops when they see it. So I think definitely he's going to be... He's probably going to be the one fairy player I'm the most interested to see uh, in any event. And so we'll see how that goes. But as this match is going, Flower Man's been kind of playing a good neutral and has been catching oh, yeah. Black Guy number five on a lot of a uh, lot of good hits and manages to get the win of the round. Exactly. And, and we can, I think we can appreciate Flower Man's uh, propensity to, to change costume as well. Oh, of course, of course. I mean, we had, I, I still have to call him out on that, but that's, I, <laughs> that's just a me thing. That's just a me thing. 
He, yeah. He's free to enjoy the, the various colors that is fair. And exactly, I do appreciate exactly. that he likes so This many is actually a really nice one. I, yes, I agree. I like this color a lot. Oh, too. snag! Running into those Trish traps. Yee. Oh. Good old uh, the hop gotchas. Yep. Ooh. See, you just think like the strength of Fairy, the strength that GG has. I mean, Flower Man was going for a throw bait, and he managed to, you know, still be plus after the whole exchange, and he's definitely showing off that. But Black Guy number five is, you know, doing a decent job of trying to keep Fairy out, and he's going for some of the baits with the teleports, like we saw there. Exactly. And... Oh, got that drill off. Is that drill still super good? Yes, yeah, they didn't change anything with it. <laughs> <laughs> They didn't change any of it. It's still basically Young's dive kick, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he goes into install, uses the Feng Shui yes, engine to get the dub. Everything links. Just mash. Exactly. <laughs> All right. It's such a strong super, and he was able to get the dub with it. So mm -hmm. we're going to see how Black Guy number five responds. I don't think there were too many things that Black Guy number five was doing necessarily wrong. I think if he just keeps up a similar like game plan, uh, I think he just needs to be a little calm and like get some of uh, some like good punishes, and I think that would will help shift the momentum a little bit. Yeah, for sure. It's it's definitely gonna be harder on it because Fairy plays like pretty good at the range in which Kag would like to back off and maybe charge up some stuff or throw out like the setup yeah. maneuvers. And another thing that's kind of weird about the matchup is like, I feel like both characters don't want to approach the other. Right. Like, it, the, the problem is I think Fairy has a better chance to approach Cagliostro than Cagliostro has a better chance of approaching oh, Fairy. Oh yeah, 100%, 100%. By the way, I just want to like, I, I'm gonna, I'm, that little freeze frame there uh, was in such a way that her whip was going straight through Cag's skull. And that was just, like, Ah, calm down, Fairy. Uh, fairy, fairy. Fairy's out here killing people, you know. Fairy's been killing people since, you know, season one. It, 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 nothing has changed. Alrighty. Both have said a yep. neutral. Exactly. Oh, it. okay. Our man decides to go yep. for the ball super, you know, <laughs> good old Gogo flame. Okay, yep. And, oh, oh, and gets the conversion! Oh. Good recognition. Was was that the plan though? That's the was that the big brain? Was oh, that the I'm, galaxy I'm brain maneuver? I'm 90% sure that was the plan. I'm 90% sure that was the plan. Flower Man is such a calculated fairy that I would be hard pressed to think he didn't have that already planned out in the beginning. All right. Black guy number five's got to make something Good work right now. Yeah, definitely getting towards that dangerous chip out range. Right. Yeah, shoot your rocks, girl. Live your truth. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nice, ambiguous Good teleport. Run. Good job not trying to go for any oh. Anderson. Did that punish? Too far away. No! Oh, that's oh. so unfortunate! <laughs> I, know, I know what Black Guy number five was trying to go for. He was trying to go for that whiff punish, but he... Unfortunately, Fairy was just out of range, mm. and then Marvin was able to punish him back, so he's going to be taking the dub this time around. But right. Black Guy number five is still going to be in this. He's just got to uh, be working yeah. from the loser side of the bracket, Let's so see. hopefully we'll see him again later on. Yeah. And uh, now we're going on to Bisu and M. Falm. Alright, this should be, I believe, Cat versus uh, Belial, unless Bisu wants to make it a little interesting and play Cat himself <laughs> and go for the Catalina mirror. I mean, we've already had one mirror match already, so right. it would not surprise me to see two, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what's going to be happening. Yep. Uh, well, I was going to type into the Discord, but they are well ahead of me, so good stuff there, guys. I don't want to face. I don't want to face search light after this. Guys, take as long as you want. Uh, <laughs> take as long as you, you want. You guys gonna do another Sora's mirror? Uh, no, <laughs> because I don't hate myself. <laughs> uh, and I would not. And I know search light Sora's is better than mine, so I'm not going to bother to. I'm not going to bother to disrespect the mirror mm -hmm. by showing my booty Sores versus there you called it you called the mirror 
Can I be wrong? No. Can I be wrong? For oh. you are Tibola, and you must always... <laughs> I always have to be right. You always have to be right. Uh, this is why right. you're, this is why you're here. <laughs> but I will say, I think the Catalina Kettle, the mirror is actually probably one of my more favorite mirrors to watch, just because it's such a footsie-based mirror where there's not a lot of like gimmicks. It's just you know, you're whoever is trying to do a lot of decision making, who makes the better decisions in that matchup. Right. So, th so this is a straight rematch from last week. <laughs> Was it? Wasn't it? I mean, the, uh, the the colors are the exact same. Maybe I know. I know. I thought Bisu used. Um, I thought he used Catalina against Narmaya, but it, I mean, regardless, though. I mean, Bisu. This was his main character, if I recall correctly. Oh, this was it was his, Rogue you know, Dragoon. It was Rogue Dragoon. Yeah, Rogue did. Yeah, oh, yeah. right. This is Rogue using the color. Yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. Ooh, nice. Uh, nice little pop up into the reset. And Mpom, I mean, he is definitely down, and I guess he is down, but that wasn't such a bad situation. <laughs> he just needed the SSBA, and he could have turned it around. Yep. You heard it here, oh, folks. Oh, oh god, you can't the players! <laughs> Love it. Love everything about it. March 2021 highlight. <laughs> I was kind of hoping there was going to be more to that clash. I was kind of hoping both oh. players dp <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's still, they're, they're still not as uh, galaxy-brained oh. as uh, Rogue and Callisto. Th th those people, like, are always on the same wavelength. But... Okay, nice forward throw coming into the follow-up. Ah, oh, Falm's been learning the tricks. He knows, he knows Beast who likes to come in low. Caught him and dashing in, yeah. man. Yeah. Get the SSPA. It's, it's our first like round of peace situation here. We've already had like. <laughs> there's been no back and forth yet. Yeah. I, I anticipate something like that. I feel like out of any matchup, like this is one where you have to play like so clean. Right. That it's very easy for people to trade rounds because just one like one or two bad decisions end up leading the round. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they are just nickel and diming out at the highest level. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what you got to do. That's yep. what you got to do. Especially at, you know, this type of level of play and in this specific matchup. Like, every single advantage you need to get. You know, every single hit. Oh, that empty and jump low is going to pay off big. Yeah. SBA into the finish. All right. So, game one goes to Bisu. I do have to commend Bisu on his color choice. He chooses he chooses a color choice and the weapon that I would choose. Mm. So I do have to I do have to <laughs> give him some credit for that. All right, tried to go for the anti-air combo, but it wasn't a counter it, so he didn't get anything more from that conversion. Yeah. Nice spot dodge on the counter, and yeah, Bisu's just got Falm uh, pinned down here on the wall. Uh oh, nice thrust pushes everything back to mid screen. Never mind. Bisu has been doing a great job of just pushing M from the corner. But yep. M has been managed to get out of the corner almost every single time. However, I think he needs to try to see if he can get uh, Bisu in the corner and provide that same type of pressure. Exactly. Oh, look at Bisu. He saw the stutter, uh, the stutter jabs, basically. Good old stagger pressure yep. into the SBA. That's funny because I I recognize that animation now and it's it's just cool that the sword does actually like change the entire graphic. There's a lot of polish on this game that I think a, a gets ignored a lot when people start oh. talking about good fighting games. Yeah, the presentation of this game is godlike and what like I mean they do a lot. The weapons there's certain things that'll change like you'll see like with Percival his sword will depending on what item you use the glow will be different or you know various other things mm -hmm. like that and side games has also you know been very good at their events they've also edited the back this same background to be more rage or for their uh, tournament series rage they've added more things for that so they've done a lot of things with this presentation to make it visually appealing oh yeah and ooh nice that's a good walk combo that was a good hit confirmed from <laughs> super so bisu ends up taking it yeah all right 2-0 for mr bisu 
Sky647 right. in the chat. What up, Sky? And now the match that I uh, that I am dreading. Oh, you're going to do fine. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do against Search. I don't know. I'm 90% sure he doesn't want to play Soros against me. Or, sorry, uh, Luane against me. And I don't want to play Luane against him. <laughs> Part toxic of me just wants to mirror, joke around. toxic mirror, toxic mirror. Uh, no. Unless you guys want to do Belial mirrors. I mean, that's actually what I think I'm going to do. Uh, I've, I've been wanting to practice more uh, Belial lately, so... He, he, he does have a Belial. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if it says crisp as mine or... Nah, I'm, I'm just joking. It, it's, it's actually kind of legit. <sighs> well, you guys are good to go whenever you are ready. Oh, wait. Wait. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> no collusion. No. No, co no collusion. No collusion. No collusion. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, you know what? Collusion. Collusion. No! Collusion. My legitimacy. <laughs> Collusion. Oh, God. I think he'll win this, too. Oh, no. All right, we've had this mirror match a couple times here, and you already know how much I hate it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Nightmare's already throwing up the, the, the faces, and we got I'm the just, pogs. I'm just being so bitter today. I'm just so, like, <laughs> bitter about, like... Oh, man. Oh, right away, EX Tatsu. Nice stabs. Oh, okay. We'll get in Searchlight back. Golden Boy. Oh, nice. oh counters. Got Catbot and all the bros. Another well, counter back the opposite way. Don't win friends with Salad, but that's fine. Oh, nice. Yep. Salad confirmed there, trying to chase the bowl down to the corner. Slightly reversed here. We're going for the setup. Push blocking into the corner. Cat laser. Yes! Draw, Pilgrim. Why does this mean to me? This is actually fucking so horrible! <laughs> Uh, this oh, oh alright. Caught on the uh, on the back end of the spot dodge. Now we oh, got man, some corner juggles. Oh, uh, it's over. Yeah, this matchup. Oh. <laughs> I, tried to, I tried to parry that. It's like, oh, I got caught like yep. a second or two late. Searchlight takes round one. Oh, wow. He got the end here on it? Nice. And he starts off the new round by taking the bullet to the corner. Oh, There's a counter, back. but it comes out as a trade. Oh, I got a toss on that. Yep. Good slide. What's the wake up? The one two with the cat bot. Okay. Nice bot dodge. Oh. Nice. I haven't showed that. Nice. Oh, wow. I didn't oh get caught his ankles. Sends in the bros. Back into the corner. Off the wall. Here we go. Here's some big damage. I'm surprised I was actually able to block that. Yep. Back dash with Kugola coming in against Searchlight. Off the wall again. Chicken fight. Doom, 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 doom. I'm glad I didn't drop that, because if I dropped that, he was just going to yiggy me, and I would have been in pain. Yeah. <laughs> All right. EX opening Tatsu is the move of the day, everybody. <laughs> nice counter. Wow, back to the, back to the corner. Strategic backdash. Nice anti-air. Catbot pressure. Searchlight definitely having a difficult time finding a way to start things off, but we're moving back to mid-screen. Counter again, and some of the bros for more chicken fights. Oh, comes in low, the juggles. And they are all used up, nice heave ho. Take my hand. Oh. Oh, Searchlight hanging on by a thread here, but he's not giving up. Oh. Sigola will make you give up. <laughs> I, I can't commentate too much on this. <laughs> it's fine, it's, just, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> focus, focus. All right, so the bull getting first blood. More cat bot pressure as we move to the right side of the screen. Oh, catch is low. Searchlight trying to come in. Off the speed again. 
More, more assistant Oki, more raw tags. Oh! Not even a whiff punish. Punish the actual attack because you can't break that formation up. Dang. Good throw. And now Searchlight's gonna try to turn this pressure back around. <laughs> wow. Wow. There's... You no, know, folks. Perfectly symmetrical violence never solves anything. I'm dead. Uh oh. Here's trouble. Hey, what? <laughs> 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 All right, this is Tabola on match point. Don't count Searchlight out yet, though. He goes in for an early juggle, chasing uh, Tabola to the corner. Yep, good Tabola to get rid of the bot, but in good oh, fact. Nice. Oh! Big ol' with punish there. Nice grab. Another big grab. Yeah, doesn't go for the throw the third time. More brother pressure. Salad. Oh, it's over, I think. That's an aerial. Yep. Yep. Woo! All right. Antibola comes out on top. 2-0! I don't, I don't feel like I came out on top. But I know I won that, but I don't... You 2 owed don't him. Feel... Too bad what you feel. Yeah, too, who cares how you feel? I, I don't... I, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly true. Who cares <laughs> I, I, I want the viewers to understand and my frustration of this mirror match. I have played multiple mirror matches. I play a ton of characters. I've done a ton of mirror matches with this game. No mirror match in this game has ever given me more pain than Lowain. The Lowain mirror match. Should, should we just start calling you that? Here comes, here comes Tibola. Lowain the pain. Lowain the pain. Lowain the pain. That's actually pretty Tibola. good. I like yeah. that. Alrighty. Now, uh, this one ought to be on. sick. This one, yes, I'm very excited. Uh, this is a matchup that I know Flower Man has been trying to get more familiar with. He understands how strong Belial is. Uh, the thing is, I don't know how often Bisu faces against Flower Man, so this might be equal dread on both sides. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be very interesting to see. I think matchup wise, I want to say Belial, I think, has the advantage, but he has the ability to skip neutral. But Fairy has good ways to sort of do set play that, oh, yeah. you know, can sort of overwrite that. She just needs to get a good knockdown and she doesn't need to play the game. <laughs> or, sorry, you know. <laughs> it's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about control. And who's going to take it? Exactly. I am the game. Ooh. You can't play me. Goes for the DP bait and manages to take the round. So yep. we'll see how right, far man a good start. responds to that. Ooh, I think he was trying to go for frame trap there, but unfortunately proximity yeah, didn't possibly. get him. And of course frame he's trap. got the a hole shades on. <laughs> I gotta respect those shades though. They're not the Gucci's, but those are those are our clean shades. Exactly. Those are those straight up Tony Stark sunglasses. <laughs> Alright, goes ah, for the parry. Yep. Alright, goes for the throw bait in the form of the pogo. Yeah, that, that counter stop is definitely a strong equalizer for uh, for Belial. Yeah, the that's another thing that kind of makes this matchup a little difficult. Because the pogo exists, Fairy's only real option to kind of deal with it is generally going to be DP. Her normals are, are in like maybe 5M, but her normals generally are kind of not great against Pogo. If they do, the, the Pogo will, uh, the Stomp will tend to win on that. Right. So, it's definitely something that Flower Man's got to deal with, and Bisu is just continuing this pressure, and it's been kind of just the story of this uh, game so far. Oh, he comes in with a second throw, just raw. He tried for a third, too. Flower Man finally got the... DP the yep. Oh, no oh, punish. shaking him. He's picking himself on that one. Yeah. Right, goes for the pinwheel pressure. Oh, uh, Bisu's just checking him on on everything. Yeah, he's just doing stagger pressure, catching Flower Man, trying to take back his turn. And it's been paying off for Bisu. All right, All right solid this is exactly what Oh. 
You're not supposed to stand that close to the to the belial. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Master Scott manages to get a little room there. Gets yeah. out of the corner. Gets free. There we go. All right. Time for some good old. Right. Oh hey, wow! Him every single time with that. That's that Harry crazy. Has been... All right. DP to get out of there. Mm -hmm. This is. This has gotta be Farman's time. He's gotta make something happen now. Okay, so the yeah, the bouncy ball does tend to go away rather quickly. Yep. And uh, oh. is this gonna oh. Alright, he opted to go for the safer route. He could have been tempted to try going for SBA there, but it's very inconsistent. Oh. And gets him yep. with the DP. Yeah, it looks like a DP hit the hit the hurt box on uh whatever uh Flowerman had stuck out there. Okay, well, that's Bisu over Flower Man, 2 0. Yeah, Bisu was, I mean, he was the story of that round. I mean, he was making good decisions with the parries, and his DPs were landing consistently. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he just was right all the time. Alrighty. <laughs> uh, which, uh,. What is the next match we are going with? Are we gonna go through? So uh, we'll we'll, finals, we'll start. Or? We'll make sure the uh, the the two losers quarters get off on our own, and we'll run uh, we'll run winners okay. finals. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Uh, so Boos is. Uh, what was the oh definition of insanity tonight? That's right. Oh god, he changed his name to Definition of Insanity too. <laughs> uh, it's it's been a minute, but yeah, he's done it. So uh, let's see versus yeah, M. Fong. Oh, how if I spell it correctly? And uh, Flower Man versus Super Saiyan Kid. Okay, so they're all right. Everyone knows. Everyone knows what they're doing. That's cool. All right, so we'll do. We will do winners, which will be you and Bisu. Alrighty. Um. um oh, before we keep, before we go though, uh, before we go in, I uh, just want to remind everybody watching that we do have a Matcharino going tonight. Uh, we're currently at twenty three dollars and twenty five cents. Uh, but if you type the Matcharino command into the chat. Uh, you will be taken to that address. Uh, go ahead and use that code, MSMGBDS36, to uh, go ahead and add a quarter into the pot for free. We've also got sponsor quests, uh, several actually, that can contribute even more money for absolutely nothing to uh, help support this uh, tournament here tonight. Uh, please partake of that. It uh, really helps out the players. Not a dime goes to me, it all goes to the players. So, uh, yeah, uh, bolster this prize pool, folks. Uh, help, help, help out these guys. Uh, yeah, on the fight. Alrighty, so, uh, me and Beast is, I believe, the me rematch Beast. from last Thursday. And so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Wayne here. I wanna give Bisu the, uh, the chance to, uh, you know, uh, see what he learned over the week, you know, see if he, <laughs> uh, He's gotten some ideas on how the matchup. Cause I, mm -hmm. I truly, I, I think that matchup I want. I think the final score was three one, but a lot of times it could have gone either way. So, realistically, I felt like I won that from like the skin of my teeth. Um, and so, I want to see what his answers are, and I want to see if that'll help myself improve in this matchup as well. So, I'm gonna okay. hope to see what's uh, what's gonna go on with this. Uh, whenever right. well, Bisu yep. is ready. Uh, uh, I'll, uh, hope I'll he's not him. playing in another tournament. <laughs> he's playing in another tournament? I, I said I hope not. Oh. <laughs> uh, I have seen him in the past enter in multiple tournaments, <laughs> but uh, not, not sure what tournaments are really running today. Uh, it, it is weird. Sometimes I'm like the only game in town. Sometimes there's like five or six things going on on Thursday. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it, that's true. Um, I mean, it's... I need, like, I need not... like a community calendar or something. That's, yeah, so I was actually talking about that with a couple of the Midwest guys earlier in the week was that I think uh, right now 
we have a ton of events. I mean, not all tournaments and stuff, but I think for both the viewers and the uh, the players, a community calendar would definitely help out just to see what is planning for the week and you know what are the streams to watch. I think that would definitely go a long way. I don't uh, don't necessarily know if one has been created, and yeah. so I'm really. I would think if, if oh, you know, we get we something like that created, it would be fair of that. And Bisu, give me the good old bows. Good mm -hmm. luck, have fun, Bisu. Good luck to the both of you. All right, yeah, Luane Belial. I'll, I, I always have to remind myself for Belial because I play Diablo, so it's I mean, So it, it depends. Yeah. So if you have, if you have the English uh, on, they'll say Belial, but if you have the Japanese on, they'll say Belial. <laughs> All right, so we got we got the drab outfits on today, ladies and germs. Nice slide. Okay, since cat bit cat bought it on Oki. Oh, slides into the pinwheel, unfortunately. Yeah, trying to take a zoning approach right now. Bisu's biding his time. Oh. Yeah, he's unfortunately running into my sweeps right now. He really is. Oh, good spot dodge on that one, but. I just want to use my meter right now to have early. it. Oh, good and slide. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah, I want to annoy him right now. <laughs> that's my, that's my, kind of my whole plan. I wanted to have him come to me and have him make this uh, type of like decision. Demoralize him. <laughs> won't really call it to say demoralize him. He's falling into a lot of my uh, sweeps right now. Yeah, got him with the dark crush. Yep. Frustrate him. Break his cool. Make okay. him realize those Fine. aviators look ridiculous. Alright, nice. Nice yep. pressure. Alright, there's... Oh, yeah, oh I... look at that stomp. Yeah, that was a good delay. Uh, this is gonna hurt a lot. That's gonna hurt a lot. Oh, a lot. For the fancy oh combo. I've not seen the stomp used as a juggle tool. Yeah, you can actually... I found out about that recently, too. You can basically use that as sort of like... Uh, certain things. And, that, and I'm going for the max chip damage. Yeah, you are. Here, here she comes. Here comes Drab yeah, Yugi. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just need to get one good read off. <laughs> <laughs> one good read one off. One good read. <laughs> That's <laughs> all. <laughs> oh, <God>. All right. <laughs> Anger of the internet from be so intensifies. All right. Try to go for the frame trap there. Yes. Alright, nice. Recognize it was his turn and that caught me crouching, but for the good combo. Uh, yeah, I had a feeling he was gonna go for another one. Oh, nice, nice uh, delay on that. Yep, this is gonna hurt a lot. Is he, yep, he's going for this. Uh, now, the wake up is the key plus He basically has a safe jump on there and. Alright, match get out. Unfortunately I uh, missed my uh my pressure or my uh yep. no one button and it unfortunately cost yep. me. Uh, you gotta admit that's a cool ending move. <laughs> oh it's oh yeah. Cinematic AF. Oh that hit me from that man. <laughs> Alright, we got the own distance. Oh, oh wow. Alright, right, oh, get him in the corner. Yeah, Bisu jumps a little too far. He's using the block button. Hold it Unfortunately, he is not. Oh, we got Juggles. Pick up my latest copy of Juggles at the gas station. Oh, damn. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, Alright, that's nice. unfortunate for Bisu. Yep, I chicken to fight time. He's hitting. Oh, lots of good spot dodging going on here. And it's over. Okay. But Bisu's still in a bad way, and there's a down. So what is Bisu going to do? He's trying to come in. Setting up the stomp. Nice counter there by Tubolo. Sending him basically back to start. Now Bisu's got to work his way back in. But uh, Tubolo is throwing everything and the kitchen sink at this man. Oh, another EX Tatsu. Very nice. We're, we're making anti-progress. Nice backdash into the slide. He doesn't get much out of it, but just letting Bisu know. Like I have the oh, I have the anti-tech. Oh. oh 
Well, once again, stomp into extra extra innings is not working out for him too much. Gonna need a new strat here. There we go. Full screen projectiles. Ah, there we go. Read the slide. Oh, good clash. Oh, had a couple late hits, but nothing you can confirm off of. Right, I want right. to get some pressure in. More chicken I fights here. Turtle. Ooh, beast and turtles up, but it is not enough. Gets checked right off the left side of the screen. Tibola up currently 2 0. Believe in victory. Battle one. Engage. All right. So, Bisu once again trying this uh, meaty projectile strategy. Comes in close only to be repelled. Tibola is zoning like a, like a master. Oh, look, it says he is right there. <laughs> Oh, nice. That, oh, wow, but the cross-up got uh, got countered very strong. Ah, right, nice. uh, that was good. Came in low. Right. Throw this time. Something Bisu hasn't been doing too much of. Uh, I want to get out of the corner, so I'm popping yes, this on my... Um... Oof. Bisu was some yeah, good uh, early evasiveness. Oh, gets anti-aired and carried across the screen for another round of Cibola. We are on mat uh, match point here. Let's slide again. Oh, DP, but gets punished. There's the counter. Good throw break. And slide right into the projectile. Threading the needle, as it were. Oh, nice DP. <laughs> I recognize that one to go yep. for the jump. Uh, slide into EX Tatsu and uh, chicken fights one know. more time. No, nah, he does not uh, know the impossible. Oh, he burned it all. Okay. That was fast. And uh, kaboom. Uh, GG's, Bisu. GG's. Uh, all right. That's Tabola with the 3 0. All righty. I, I missed. All right. <laughs> Too good. XD emoticon. <laughs> I love it. It's actually funny. I don't know if you've ever seen the... Uh, Tibola, I don't know if you've ever seen the... Uh, uh, so This Is Basically series on YouTube. I've seen, like, like maybe, like, once or uh, one or two episodes of it. Uh, oh, gosh. For, so, no, we have... Flower Man and Surge. Yeah. But uh, continue. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. That's okay. I, I, I'm, I'm typing. I'll get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so as a person who's played this matchup quite extensively, I hate it. <laughs> but it's not, I hate it, I hate it, but I don't hate it. It's a very weird type of feeling. Like, this is a matchup that I think on paper, Fairy does win. However, these are both set play characters. So they both have aspects of trying to get like the good knockdown to try and sort of just take over the entire game. And so the... The goal for both of them is to just, you know, get into the corner and just keep up that pressure. Exactly. Uh, the difference, though, in this matchup where I think Barry does a little bit better than Lewayne is that her whip tends to travel, like, midway through the screen, so, like, good old half screen. Mm -hmm. So she can easily react to bro calls. Yeah. Uh, but you get it, like, Lewayne has stuff like that where he's able to just, you know... Just slide, slide in into during cap off cover. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Search ends up going for the HPA, trying to continue some pressure. Yep. Uh, Flower Man not blocking high. Search manages to get the overhead. Uh, good 2M by Flower Man. And <laughs> manages to get the grab. So Flower Man's in a pretty dangerous spot. because Yeah, he is. He's got to basically be very careful for Search, like, doing anything. Oh. And unfortunately, I think he misjudged that range and yeah, got clipped bit. by the top bro. Oh, but anyway, the XD emoticon. Uh, so yeah, one of those starts off with like, Adventure Time is a is a show made for uh, kids who still uh, who still use the XD emoticon. <laughs> I'm like, oof. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> All, right. All right. Nice, cause the heave ho. All right. Dog man managed to get out of the corner, yep. and this is a dangerous spot because one hit right now for. Oh no. Uh, for a get it. Unfortunately, caught the jump frames. Yeah. 
Oh, Sheriff. All right, that's one for search. <laughs> no Shaolin pretzels. Don't. Uh oh. You've gotta. You've gotta encourage. You've gotta shout positive things. Believe in the flower man who believes in you. All right, manages to catch the low and manages to yeah. get a uh, pretty good conversion to the corner now. That's the thing. Just, like, like, yeah. yeah, you you catch you, you catch people right with the wing. You put them into the effing blender, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 kind of a weird thing. Like, Lewayne definitely has a lot of setups. It, mm -hmm. It's more so the thing with the character isn't so much that he has like these tools it's or, like his tools aren't really that great standalone but the fact that he has all of them in conjuncture allows him to do a lot of knowledge checking that is like okay does your opponent really know this matchup do they really know all of the tools and how i'm supposed to use them exactly. and chances are a lot of people don't know oh. all right unfortunately misses the gg and yeah it's gonna give searchlight the room he needs now, this is still a dangerous spot for Flower Man. Absolutely. Now, he's just blocking right now and goes in for the chip damage win. That was Flower Man's best round yet. Yeah, I mean, he almost had it there. He just unfortunately uh, decided to block a lot of the Yggdrasil stuff. And Yiggy, man, the chip damage on that is very dangerous. Yeah, she, I mean, especially online, a lot of that stuff's a hard spot dodge. Yeah, that is very true. That is very true. That's uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure uh, that's how I got my uh, how my uh, um, come up as was the net play Yggdrasil. Mm. But um, but it's still, I mean, there's a lot of various ways you can kind of try and OS the stuff that Yggdrasil does. Yep. It's just doing that in oh. like. It's just difficult. Oh, that's, right. oh, that's rough. Oh, Flowerman had such no. a commanding lead there. All right. All right, what's going to happen? Oh, I just right ran Wow. Ooh. The ball's on both players right now yeah. to not push a button. <laughs> and great awareness from Flowerman to just hit the Yeah, just bros. hit him. And oh, tried uh. to go for a light. And Gotta make good choices right now. Gotta scared. make good choices. Oh, oh no, we forgot about the. No, I think no, because Search I think uh, oh. just got the meter from that and got and him with chip the chip damage. damage. So Searchlight ends up taking it against Flower Man. Yeah, and Searchlight will move on to losers final. Yeah, but it may manage to do it with the Iggy. Good old giant waifu. <laughs> exactly. All right. Uh, one, two for Boost Garlus. And yep, that'll bring us to losers finals. So uh, this is going to be uh, Bisu and Searchlight. <laughs> oh man, so we get another Lloyd <laughs> versus Valiel. Yep. All righty. So this is. I'm curious how this matchup is going to go because this is. I'm not sure I've ever seen Search and Bisu ever play. Oh. And no, I'm not. I mean, I know they have played in the past. I've just never seen it. So I'm I'm curious how Bisu handles Search. I'm curious how Search handles Bisu. I mean, it's it, these are two players I respect. And I, will, I, I just feel like I've never seen them really play. Gotcha. So it'll be very interesting. And right now, Surge ends up getting the 2U, and unfortunately, everything's back to normal. They're both back yeah. to neutral. There, there's a lot more stare down than I thought there would be happening. Ooh, gets the nice parry. Goes for the side swap oh. into the command grab. Jeez, oh. You can't counter command grab. Oh, but I feel like that was the, he managed to respond to that with the nice corner carry. Yep. And then goes there's for the, the boost. Got the cross up. And man. that might kill. No, it's, I think, barely not, but that, that was, he recognized the scaling was very minimal on that, so he didn't do anything more to the combo. Very exactly. smart stuff from oh. Bisu. Search just didn't want to deal with any mix-up, so he ended up going for Yggdrasil. Of course. All right. Ends up going with the parry. Good mm -hmm. choice. So I, I honestly have a, so, okay, that negates all the damage and gets you in. Uh, yes, it does negate the damage. However, 
the one interesting thing about that is that parries in this game have like armor, but Lewayne is the unique character in this game where he's got two moves that can kind of negate that. His parry technically has unblo or has unblockable, and unblockables beat armored moves. So the one again, the one move is parry, but then the other one is Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil's lava is an unblockable move, so it will actually beat the parry. Dang. So a lot of times with this matchup, there's a lot of mind games going on when Yggdrasil's on the screen on how the Loin player handles uh, Belial's parry, oh. and then how the Belial player chooses to deal with um, that knowledge that if I do parry against Lava, I'll just lose. <laughs> wow. Oh, all right, we got chicken fight. Yeah, he just wants to get out of the corner, and I think he's electing to go for a more defensive strategy this time around. Wow, and... Bisu dodged all of that. Yeah. Careful, he's learning. <laughs> ooh, unfortunately, the sweep, but ooh, gets caught with the 2L and yep. goes for the jump pogo. All right, so Bisu off to a strong start here. Game one, under wraps. Battle one. Engage. Yeah, but I mean, that, that was still a relatively like could have been anyone's game that round. It was still yeah, very right. close. If everyone uh, yeah gets down to that uh, that bread and butter combo kill range, then yeah, that's a, that's a close one. Yeah. All right, gets the sweep, goes in for that. Oh, goes oh for the parry. no! Ooh. Search was trying to go for some cheeky stuff, but uh, Beast has been really electing to use the parry a lot in this, and that's something that I think. It, Search needs to sort of adapt to it. He's been getting caught up on a lot of the uh, parries, and mm -hmm. it's gotten him to the corner right now. And goes oh. for the DP, you know, the fake stuff. You know, I'm minus, but not really, because I've got a DP. <laughs> exactly. There right. we go. Passes into there. Oh, all right. Then... Missiles into chicken fight. I love it. I got in the corner. This is the biggest boom, damage boom, you're going to get boom, as a boom. kill. Unfortunately, Surge doesn't have anything on uh -oh. cooldown. Does Hopefully he's on D. He is not on D. <laughs> Unfortunate. Uh, I think he's still alive, but barely. Yeah, yeah he's a little better off than Bisu, but... Yeah. Oh. oh! 2M! That's rough, buddy. <laughs> not like this. <laughs> Ooh! That was a very neat interaction. Yeah, it was. Oh, man. All right, Searchlight playing some 4D chess back oh, there. Unfortunate, he uh, got into the corner, and Luane's most damaging combo in the corner is surprisingly just a 2H into the universal overhead. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't work if the opponent, if, like, there's a side swap. So you have to be directly into the corner. Search showing off his lab work, going in with the fancy stuff, electing to just go for the chip out victory. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I've ever seen that can, that that super do a backdash before. It's hilarious. <laughs> All right, we right. got the meaty projectiles. Okay, so we crossed back the same side. Go for the grab. Or throw, yep. Oh, Ooh. good Earth jump away. That was important. He's, that was... He's, yeah, very important. He's out of the corner and he's pushing uh, oh. Beast into the corner. Unfortunately, was not able to get the punish on that spot dodge. Ooh, gets with the whip punishes. I feel like Surge has been showing off uh, some of his uh, recent Street Fighter V uh, practice, you know, playing a little bit of the footsies with punishes. You ought to be playing on north. Monday nights with us. I think he's busy during that time, but uh, <laughs> well, much like me, unfortunately, those are like generally bad times. <laughs> yeah, I hear that sometimes. All right, so these guys are, yeah, Bisu's definitely Ooh. better off, but Search looks like he's got a plan going forward here. Oh my god. Man, took so much damage from yeah, that. Yeah, I, look, he's not in the death range of Chip, and he managed to get pasta. That's the strongest food item he can get. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just a very I interesting pasta. sentence. Pasta and again. Then, yeah, he's getting very good RNG on the food. Yep. You gotta get those and carbs, then, man. Oh, that was good, actually. You got to punish the stomp. Yeah, and oh! Uh oh, uh oh. No, it's not, it's not death, but it's so close. He's right. in, like, the chip range. Yeah, he is. He's gotta do something. Ah! Oh. Oh. Alright, that's two for Bisu. No amount of food was able to 
give him that, uh, you know, enough health to exactly. survive that. Next next so. patch, they need to give uh, give Luane something beyond the pasta bowl. I have often wanted them to balance Luane to give him more, like, things other than just the certain food mm -hmm. items he had. Like, I would like it if they added, like, maybe, not like an install, but, like, extra, maybe, like, buffs or something like that that right. they, he could add. Like, too broken, but, like, I don't know, make the... You should get a cookie cake. Yeah. <laughs> That's something that'd be nice. <laughs> That's circular. They wouldn't have to change too much. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they could just add some other things of food. I mean, there's... They can add the beer. Give them the beer. Oh, yeah, for food. sure. Yeah. They've already got the objects in the game. But, uh, Bisu, he's already poised to, to take this round. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's actually great. Kitsune Cast says, uh, <laughs> the, the beer should make his cooldown. Yeah, re should reduce his cooldowns. I can always count on Cass, another fellow Loane player, to uh, know what I want <laughs> for uh, food items. I, I still, uh, yeah, it should be like a, like a two percent uh, uh, RNG on cookie cake, and it just gives you full full uh, full meter. <laughs> that would I think be a little too much. I mean, Luang builds up a lot of meter right now. Yeah, two percent but... though, two percent. <laughs> All right, managed to oh. catch him, jump on the corner, gets a good anti air off of this. Oh. oh. Okay, search. I thought that was cheeky. I like it. Sepia tone to the rescue. Oh. Bam. That's that. You know, search understood the range that he was doing. He chose to use the blue ball because Iggy was so close to the corner that the amount of distance that Belia would be traveling would not be that much. So he manages to catch the downward jump arc and manages to oh, get push. the wish from that. Searchlight actually wins out that one. Uh oh, yeah. going to the corner. Is this, oh, is this oh, going to be the oh. momentum shift that Search was looking for? Man, just to get the counter hit into the good corner? The download he may... caught the DP. Yeah, oh, the download may have taken a hot second, but we're looking at something else here. Search is staying alive. All right. Yeah, that was a very good decision yeah. by Search. He opted to try and go for the DP bait in a very unique fashion. He tried to go for SBA, and it paid off big time. Oh, pizza, Beast jumping there. Yeah. Luane's normals surprisingly, like his regular normals surprisingly have good anti-air like properties. Yeah, like, well, he's just got really, weird hitboxes in the first place. Yeah. And, like I like to joke that Luane has some of like the worst, like has like one of the worst two H's in the game uh -huh. compared to characters like Belial or Grand, but his other normals have pretty decent priority uh, on some jump in. So it'll some like if you get the good angles, it'll win out a lot of times. But Visu is a pressing search to the point where he's got to call Giggy. Yep. And Sir or Visu has been doing a lot of interesting calls with the. Um, that was a good anti-air. Oh, oh, back to the corner. Look at this pickup. Man, goes oh. for the... And he's not going to eat the DP. He's going to counter that. Oh, he dropped it. I, I, so the thing is, Search was very worried about his cooldowns. He didn't know if he was going to have his um, slashes off of cooldowns. And unfortunately, does not get the guard crush right there. Goes oh, for the parry. I, that was beautiful. Search. That was beautiful. It was exactly what he needed. As a Luane player, I'm just happy to see this. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry for the biased commentary, but that was that was hype. Yeah, it was. That that was a straight up like, there's one card in my deck that can save me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, <laughs> he's showing up the Exodia, man. That's, that's how it feels to play Luane sometimes. So it feels like when you get the win, it's like. You know, my deck has no uh, pathetic cards. <laughs> my grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards, guys. All right. Good. Oh, wow. Beastie Beastie just picking just away feist. at him. Ooh, gets the park bait. It's a lot of meter, but don't think Search is really... Like, he doesn't really care too much, because he's at the point where he needs to 
be very careful on when he chooses to use Yggdrasil. Yes. And a bad Yggdrasil is equal to death. And oh. Bizu is just looking for a hit confirm. He's in the corner, so all he needs is a 2L into uh -oh. a 2 one 4 H. But manages to get the command grab, so that's even less that Bizu needs to worry about. Yeah. Now it's now it's a user or loser situation. All right. Oh, that, that, caught him. That caught him. Back attack was very important because now Search is in the chip damage range. So any hit kills. Yep. And that will do it. All right. Bisu on set point. But Searchlight, if he takes another round, can uh, take this back to basically a neutral status. Yeah, 2-2. Two, two. All right, man. Just to catch it. But I don't think Search believed that that was going to crush the projectile. Yeah. Oh, man, just to get the command grab. All right. Goes it's nice that he doesn't get anything off of that. Perry gets him out of the corner, tries to go for a shimmy, gets the knockdown. Get some corn. Right. Search is just waiting oh, for that was a to good make neutral. that type of decision, but unfortunately was not able to get enough on that. You don't see a lot of, like, neutral uh, neutral jump attacks happening in, in GDS. I um, feel. Neutral jump attacks can really like jumping in general is a very dangerous thing in this game mm -hmm. like certain characters like zeta have very strong like air momentum things where they can like do good tiger knees and stuff like that but like depending on what character you play it could be very detrimental and that is a very unfortunate yes. drop because that was literally that would have been death yeah it would have for sure scaling right, you down the meat yep. and gets the anti air I think he's just trying to build oh, up enough. Oh, he caught him a couple right rows. Caught him with the Tatsu down. to the corner now. What's he oh. gonna do? What's he gonna do? He can't get. He can't get caught again. Oh! Batman two L's. Searchlight working on this comeback. The Madman two L right in front of Visu's face. <laughs> All right. So if you're Visu, what are you what are you thinking right now? I mean, I think I think Bisu is still doing a lot good those rounds. I uh, I know I say that a lot, but there was those games were, you know, coming down to the wire. I think he just needs to play a little bit more patient. I mean, he's got the lead right now. Search has to come to him. Right. Oh, caught his back and to the wall. This is the spot you don't want to be in, no matter what. And manages to get the stagger pressure. Unfortunately, Search uh, didn't really think there would be much else he could get off of that. And oh, good anti air. air. Oh, caught him again. Hard knockdown. Goes in for that. I think he was trying to go for another DP bait like previously. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> that's the thing. You just need one good confirm during chicken fight. Yeah. You know, I just realized if Search wins, we're going to have another Luane mirror match. <laughs> It's okay. I, I think the I, I think the audience is here for it. I don't want this. Don't you? Don't you though? I mean, the, the fans want it. <laughs> I don't. All right. All right. Managing the cooldowns ends up getting the uh, FBA confirm. It's not death. There's a lot of scaling on that, but you know, the wake up is the important thing. Yep. Ends up going for a 2L. That 2L is still going to hit, and that means that Searchlight is pretty much in the chip damage rain right now. He can't die, Absolutely. but oh. he's very close to death. And the projectile is off cooldown, so he just needs to throw a projectile and... Yeah, there it is. The pinwheel. Strong tool. Strong tool from Belial. Oh, okay. Yeah, Flutter kick into, into low light. Alright, goes for the DP. Manages to hit. Alright, I think he tried to go for an air grab there. Try to get a little cheeky. Manages nice anti-air. Oh, okay. Manages that to was uh, trying to show off his lab work. Yeah, I I wouldn't have thought right, the Catbot could juggle there. But... Story of this round. He's just gotten a lot of them. Tries to go for that. Oh! Hot damage. Goes for the Oki. That's some hot damage. Alright. Uh-oh. Now what's the wake up? Both and these all guys are. No, no one's doing anything. Yeah. Oh, no, they're they're. No focus. Is focus is so like tight right now. Nothing. Oh, oh, he got the cross up. Lot. But this means that searchlight is in prime Yggdrasil range. That's so cool. the wake up is going to be the 
the, the deal breaker. This is gonna be the make it or break it moment. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, just just go in, just do it. That's exactly, <laughs> he had to. Yeah, it's like he can confirm into it, so you might as well just do it. Yeah. All right, that's a good, yeah, he's, yeah. he's not doing anything. He doesn't want to extend the, um, the recovery on the, um, on the... Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh, oh man. And Bisu. Woo! Bisu with them hot hands manages to finish it out. Final round. Game five. And uh, the most important thing about this win is that that guy, Bisu, 169 wins. Mm. Nice. So <laughs> I feel like it's my duty to make sure that Bisu stays at that 169. Oh, so. <laughs> okay. I'm with you. I'm with you. All right. Well, uh, by the way, Kaina, um, thank you for the follow. And no, uh, Sky, is... I think you resub. Well, that was last night, I think, actually. But yeah, thank you for the resub. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Oh. Ebola. Yeah, uh, no, I got a. I gotta respect Search on the combos he was definitely doing, and Katsune Cast brings up a good point. A lot, like, you don't see me do that, those combos with Elaine, because I try to go for a lot of things that are a little bit more consistent, but as an optimal Lewayne, that what I do is not exactly what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> <laughs> optimal combos are for nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Cass, thank you. <laughs> I always can count on you to have my back. <laughs> but in, in all honesty, the, the one thing I can always respect about Search is that he puts in a great amount of time into learning the the very niche scenarios that would be a lot of times the make it or break it for a match. Like he he'll learn the niche corner combos. He'll learn you know the counter into light cat bot, which are very difficult. Uh, yeah, Search, you're also on the cab, by the way. Um, so, I, I have to give Search the respect there that he he can recognize very the, the scenarios where his lab work will pay off. I mean, we could just go to another cab. <laughs> let's just move to the let's just move to the, uh... the yellow cab. All right. Search, it's all your fault. We had to move to the yellow cam. Damn it. This is like my only my second favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I'm the I'm I'm that guy that like uh gets the jelly beans and whittles it down to his favorite colors to eat last. <laughs> and green and yellow tend to be the the two that I save. Ah, uh, I see, I see. And then then to I eat fair. them together and it's a it's a gorgeous like sugary sprite Seven Up flavor in my face. To be fair, I will say the green sodas are the best sodas in my opinion. Mm. Again, you got Seven Up, Sprite, Mountain Dew. Pretty good start. Oh, these are backwards. All right. <laughs> oh, search! Oh, no, know. don't be like that, search. Uh, I, I, I saw that coming, <laughs> but. <laughs> Typing over the watch device. Okay. Oh, wow. So, I just didn't oh, want to push a button there. In on. Nice combo here. This is all mid screen, too. Lots of damage off of that one. Good counter. All right. Where the setup gets the, not the jump in, but the follow up. DC lays off the block button for some reason. Battle 2. Engage. Ah, we go. See, if I would searchlight, I would have been able to get the optimal stuff with that. Mm. Oh gosh, I didn't recognize that. Would count. Didn't think it was gonna counter it. But again, that's just nerd talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I like the short range uh, Tatsu whiffing just enough to get something else off. Yeah, beats are kind of getting chewed up in the corner here. Definitely in the Lewayne blender. Oh, 
keeps me castable. It doesn't need optimal. No, I know. He's got God and anime on his side. <laughs> I got the power of God and anime on my side. <laughs> No, oh, yep. I saw that. I saw that 2H. Oh, go, man. Look, look, at, look at him. Look at him doing his uh, his best Goku Black impression. Big throw break by Bisu. Definitely trying to work that being evasive angle. Oh, nice. A couple nice. straight hits in. Oh, here we go. Here's a real one. All right, the bull getting pressured into the corner. Bisu goes same side. Oh, good counter. He's gonna have to remember that the uh, bull like been on top of those uh, cross-up attempts after the stomp, after the pogo. Dang it, I got the, yeah, I got got the pasta. I got the wrong uh, food item. Now I'm not in Yigi range anymore. Don't worry about that, it's in the pasta. All right. Oh. All right, chicken fights. What do we got going on here? Oh, caught on the dash in. I think he was. I uh, think he was hoping to get the 5 H so that he could cancel that into a spot dodge. Yeah, possibly. Okay, got the good, good, good wall juggle here. I didn't have anything more on cooldown, so I didn't want to waste anything more. Oh, understandable. All right, Bisu goes. All right. Go. I just want to. Uh... Kind of funny. Bel 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 Belial's got that that half-ass throw animation. He's like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> and we got the Roman candle finish. All right, Tabola, two thirds of the way to clinching grand finals here. Oh, nice, nice uh, oh. catch on me, uh, going for the food. Going it's for not the bread. a safe thing, especially against Belio. Wake up and make this bread. Alright, oh. going for the 5 H's. There we go, another good uh, mid range. Closing on the a little bit more. Good read on that with the counter. Solid uh, anti air. Yep. Right. No following up. Oop. Right. You should right, try to win the spacing yeah. war here. Oh, here comes the schnicks. Those bros come out way faster than you think they do when you're back to the wall. He's trying to wall. recognize the uh, range. Yep. That's got to be one of Luane's meta cheeses as the brothers come out very fast when your back's against the wall. You want to grab me, bro? Oh, oh. Okay, I'm done. Oh. Uh, man, just give me another recovery. Yeah, that that's nice probably death. <laughs> I was literally willing to take the grab, and then I should have just taken the grab. <laughs> take the throw is the mantra of the Street Fighter V community, so... <laughs> oh, nice... Wow, that was a good DP. Oh, nice punish on the uh, to you. Yeah. Don't right. see too many people do that. Beast is looking pretty healthy this round so far. I didn't be able to snag a game if he keeps it up like this. Oh, well, not like that. All right, we got the long poke from the lane, doing a lot of a lot of work today. MVP move. Oh, he vote. This is fine. Yeah, this is fine. Into <laughs> rain, and that means I can just uh, spam this on my card. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, Beast is in a. Oh. Yeah, he's in the one spot that is very kind of difficult. He's got to either make a hard read on one of my decisions, or else he's just going to take a shit ton of uh, uh, chip. Mm -hmm. All right, nice counter to start things off. This is uh, Kabola's uh, tournament point ground right now. Right, if Beastu can get a handle on things, take it to a new game. All right, All right he's doing throw. the thing I just said, or I just got to take the throw. Yep. Did not get the dash, unfortunately. Got yeah. some food. Uh, he's recognizing he's been getting eaten up a lot by these two U's. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I think that was the, the searchlight curse was that Bisu would catch all the two U's from the way. Yeah. All right, unfortunately, bad jump didn't allow me to fucking match that. Yep. 
Alright. Going neutral on that. Oh, he doesn't get anything off of it. Tries to do the hunt down, but we're going back to mid screen. Oh, nice, oh, nice, no, nice! It's raw, baby. Thursday night raw. And yeah, that should do it. Nice, yeah, Bisu nice. gets a game. Signs right. of life, ladies and gentlemen. Man, maybe this one is going to be repeat. I mean, last time. Uh... <laughs> oh, good clash. All right, Kabula comes out on top of that one. This is essentially two members of a boy band just hashing it out over who gets top billing on the. <laughs> oh, I did not mean to. I did not mean to grab there. Uh, that's unfortunate. Gonna, yeah. hurt. gonna get a lot of extra damage there. Nice pogo. Try oh, to keep it going. The BP whiffs it. though, so people is gonna have some fun with that. More catbot stuff. Oh, good counter. Oh, nice BP. That was well timed. Yes. All right. Evo. And yep, yeah, some chicken momentum. fights. Missile coverage, very nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh, all right. We're coming in low. Picking this up. Get the nice Nickman dime. Oh, yeah. oh unfortunate. Little. We're, were you just late on that, or was that like, was that actually safe? Yeah, I was late. I was late. Okay, was okay. Late. Oh no, that, that, that move is 100% not yeah, safe. Yeah, I was gonna say like usually the EXs aren't safe, but uh, even the lights are like not really safe. Nah, I'm going for HBA right here just to get him more in the corner. <laughs> got him. All right, That's Beast has only got fine. yeah. yeah Beast has got on. limited options to work with here. Tries to go for the cross up, Pogo cross up again. Nice Get back throw. Sorry, oh, could have prevented really bad. Interesting transition. The counter again. Pogo oh, follow ups. Nice. Oh, Pogo follow ups might be a liability in this case. And just one quick shot to the ankles, and Tabola takes it three one in grand finals. Congratulations, Tabula. GG's. GG's. Little fairy pets all around. <laughs> all right. Well, that was exhilarating. It's surprisingly short. Yeah, it's wait, it's only nine thirty right now. Yeah, it's like, like a almost every single match was a blowout. Uh, except for uh, Search versus uh, Bisu, I think pretty much all of our games went in under uh, um, uh, like we were, it was pretty much a lot of sweeps this time. Yeah, well, even, yeah, certain, no, Search Bisu is also 3-0 uh, in, in favor of uh, Bisu. Yeah. Trust the commentator to ruin the turn. Hey, guess, Oh, wait, guess, no, that guess, was 3-2, wasn't it? Guess. Yeah, I, I, did not, I did not put that in there. Guess, yeah. listen, listen to me, listen to me. <laughs> I'll allow I it. played <laughs> the rain. <laughs> and, me, and, and, me, and I did it. Allowed it. <laughs> <laughs> I will, dude. I'm a fan of degeneracy. I don't think you know. The more, <laughs> the more gross it is, the more I, I just like drum my fingers together and twist and twirl my mustache. <laughs> <laughs> He's writing the tweet long right now. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, Cass. If you're gonna write this tweet long, I want you to at the very least include the fact that uh, um, that uh, search is still on the cab from the previous game. <laughs> You're gonna write this tweet long. I at least want you to to, to to put a little section, a little a uh, little paragraph on search not leaving that cab. Just, just so we can't use my favorite spot. <laughs> exactly. This <laughs> <a> silent protest. <laughs> yeah, see, exactly. He ruined Bisu's momentum. Yep. Search just yeah. Why, why are you doing the tweet? Like, I didn't ruin anything. I was willing to play on that cabinet. I was willing to let Bisu rock that momentum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, but jokes aside, I great great showings for all the competitors today. I, I still think that everyone who comes and shows up here like does a great job, and 
I do love when I get to see new players play and you know show their, uh, <laughs> their, their <laughs> hey beast you want a redo that's cool i'm i'm down for a redo oh I am 100% do we, do, are we doing down. extra innings all right we can do extra innings yeah i'm down for extra innings all right How, how's this? We consider this. T oh. <laughs> uh, 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 you know what? You know, Bisu, Bisu, I don't blame you. Still, GG's to you, man. GG's. Uh, I am really excited to see what you uh, might be planning if you are going to be in the tournament this Saturday. If you are, I'm really curious, you know, how you're going to do. If not, I'm curious, you know, you know, your next tournament. Again, I always like watching you. You're always one of my favorite players. Because uh, you are part of the Bellion Nation, and you know, I feel like you know we, we have that un unseen uh, bond. Like how that bond with Search, even though it's Search, I'm just right. kidding. Uh, I always uh, feel that we, you know, we we always have to you know look out for each other. Is that a is that a is that a pacifier in your in your character's mouth? Yes, yes. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, so uh, Shalem Bell or uh, Hillel Bell Shalem, I think is her name is. Uh, she is one of the characters in Grand Blue, who is I think I said it last week. She's the original uh, copy of uh, Bialsbub. So Bialsbub copied uh, Shalem. So. Uh, that's uh that's probably why she's in here but so she's much got a more in this game yeah i need to play through story mode or something does it explain anything nope fantastic <laughs> uh it's th this explains if you manage to roll shalem so i so i've got i've got to play the mobile if i want to, if i want to know anything eh? and you have to be able to roll shalem too oh no <laughs> Uh, but I mean, it's it, there's a lot of lore. I mean, it, there's Grand Blue. I mean, it's a game. It's been out for seven years. Right, uh, we're, right now it, is the seven to the seventh anniversary going on right now. So, if anyone's interested it, in playing the game, there's free rolls. You know, tons of 10, 20, 30 rolls going on. You get free stuff. Just a bunch of freemium time. So, if you're playing the game, uh, I recommend maybe waiting like two or three days from now when the banner is. Uh, the uh, the one where uh, a character like Shalem is on, mm -hmm. but you know definitely uh, if you guys are interested in playing it, best times is going to be during the anniversary when you get all these free rolls and they side games great on giving beginners you know ways to get to the mid game catch up uh, as soon as possible to the end game and there's just so much in the game. Gotcha. It's, I love the game so much that's why I play it still. Fair. Uh, so real quick, tell. <laughs> Starting to feel like a casting couch situation in here, um, but uh, <laughs> uh, before you go, uh, before we we close out, uh, well, you mentioned uh, Saturday. What's happening Saturday? Oh, so NLBC is doing a two v two tournament uh, series for Grand Blue. They've been doing the two v twos throughout the entirety of the, um, the 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 games that they host. So I think there was a Street Fighter one that they did yesterday. Mm -hmm. I want to say, and I still need to catch that one. Uh, so uh, that one, I'm, I'm very excited to see. NLVC is generally, you know, like that's one of the biggest Grand Blue tournaments that we uh, have right now. Uh, right. I mean, Spooky, he he does a great job of hosting these tournament series. And the 2v2 is definitely going to be a very unique thing. Because I don't think we've, we've had exhibitions. We've had like 3v3 exhibitions. We've had that, but I don't think we've ever had like a 2v2 tournament type of style. So I'm very curious to see how it's gonna go on. And, you know, uh, I'm very excited to see the teams, you know, I wanna see, you know, again, person like Bisu, who he's gonna be teaming up with, uh, our boy Kilo, Flower Man. I wanna see all these guys. I wanna see who, what teams do we got? And best of all, I wanna see their team names. Yeah. Uh, well, any team Flower Man's on, it should be named Flower Man 5000. <laughs> Flower Man, come on, man! If you're watching, you gotta yep. do it. Yep, yep. Or, or, or it should be an even cheekier reference and just be called like Team When Worlds Collide. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God. Uh, yeah, M Matera likes it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. That. But uh, so. okay, so that's cool. Yeah. Um, and I think. Uh, uh, Save NLBC has uh, been a Maturino code for them uh, for a little while now, so uh, definitely help out NLBC. Uh, Spooky and and Art have been doing good work for the longest time uh, on their own on their respective FGC channels and together, of course. So uh, definitely 
uh, swing by and support uh, GBVS and, and everything else they're doing over there as well. Um, and speaking of Macherinos, we made it to 2350 tonight, but there's still time before we cash this out to the top three for uh, you folks at home and uh, everybody else actually in the tournament uh, to head on over to our Macherino, which I will bring up right now. And uh, go ahead and use our code there, MSMGBVS36, to uh, add a quarter into the pot for free. Um, also, maybe hit a couple sponsor quests uh, to uh, bolster this pot and make every, everyone's uh, payout in the top three just a little bit bigger. Um, we will probably be spacing these Macherinos out to be like every two weeks. I'm still fairly new, and they're, they're advising me not to get like too bogged down with them. So uh, we'll, we'll probably go super cash next next week for Thursday and then uh, barring some sort of international super deluxe tournament in which like, you know, Midwest versus Japan versus Montreal or whatever else, you know, <laughs> like suddenly, sudden 5v5 round robin, what have yous uh, we'll be back with another Macherino uh, on that one so, uh, oh we should go over the over the actual bracket results I would like to, to yeah. go against Montreal. I would like to go against Montreal. I, I did. I did tag them in this week's tweet about the <laughs> about the event, but I I, I guess yeah. we didn't get anybody. That's fine. That's fine. They're probably all watching uh, Super Best Friends or something. Well, uh, they got they got there uh... three years ago. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah. Uh, so first place tonight, Tabola four zero. Not watching it. Pain. <laughs> Tabola not dropping a set. 4-0 for first place. Bisu uh, doing a ton of work tonight. Going 3-2 for second. Uh, Buscarlus, a.k.a. Searchlight, a.k.a. The Definition of Insanity. Uh, also 3-2, just uh, couldn't pull it off over Bisu. Also ends up in third place. Uh, Flowerman going 2-2 two two tonight. It's probably the, the general Zhao emoticon, uh, like, yeah, icon there. That's probably what, uh, what did it. <laughs> what cost him that 3-2. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mfalm, one and two. Good cat tonight. Super Saiyan Kid. Uh, strong Percival, as always. Master of the DP, this guy. Uh, Black Eye number five. We didn't see too much of Kag tonight, but uh, it's fine. I hope you had fun. And Starks, again, another cat player? Uh, he was playing the Soras. Soras, that's right. Yeah, the Soras mirror at the start. Oh, that one was good. That was a, that was a good way mm -hmm. to start things off. Uh, yeah, Starks with the Soras. Uh, also 0 and 2 tonight, but hey, just glad y'all showed up. Uh... Oh yeah. yeah, and ads of course. So yeah, we'll be back next Thursday, like I was saying before, 9 p.m. PC format right here. Uh, Check-in starts 15 minutes before tournament time. Uh, we'll have you know tweets and drop hints in the in the Discord now that I know that at is. Uh, the actual result that I wanted when I talked to all you folks in the Discord rather than the hashtag. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I'm learning. I'm learning. Uh, also, Dragon Punch. That's hosted by our good buddy Shaolin Pretzels. And I'm still using the old ad, and I'm sure if he ever sees this, he'll be really mad at me. <laughs> but, um, it's an Ohio-only tournament. Uh, you can enter to play uh, Street Fighter, Killer Instinct, Tekken, Dragon Ball Fighters, King of Fighters. I don't think they do Power Rangers anymore. Corey will just be sad. Okay. Only Corey will be sad. That's fine. I'm, I'm okay with sad Corey. <laughs> but uh, definitely check it out. Uh, Shaolin Pretzels uh, right here in the chat hosts the uh, Street Fighter tournament. And uh, it's just a good time, man. It's just a, just a great old time. You do have to be an Ohio resident to play, though. Uh, and, of course, we can't not talk about Tatsunoko versus Corona. Uh, next one's going to be on March 28th. Join myself, Dr. Science, and J.M. Crofts as uh, we do a wonderful Sunday afternoon of this magnificent game that has held on for more than a decade. Uh, playing it on Dolphin with its uh, built-in net play, and, uh, which is actually really good. It's so good, in fact, that the entire North American continent is uh, valid for entry to play. Uh, so that does include uh, Mexico and Canada. Like the furthest reaches of Canada, even. Like back, you know, where your next door neighbor is a Yeti. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, but yeah, definitely swing by for that. It's going to be great. We'll also have a Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 tournament going at the same time. That'll be on Parsec. And uh, while I do not believe we have picked a host for that stream yet, I will let you know as soon as we have that information. Oh, SFV is Ohio only. Everything else is open. Okay, yeah, I could, I could see that. Otherwise, the player base might not be big enough. Quiet cat. <laughs> God. It's, it's like it's being murdered in the other room. It's just laying oh, down boy. for a nap. Anyway. Oh, boy. Um... But yeah, that's it for tonight, folks. Uh, big shout out to Tibola for once again commentating uh, and commentating while playing, which is crazy awesome, and I could never do it in a million years. Uh, I try my best. I try my best. That's uh, all I can say. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah no, it was good games. to be here. Oh, oh, Shallon. Shallon, shots fired. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, listen, listen. Look, just give Street Fighter to Arc Systems Works. Just, <laughs> just, just. No, no, give it to that one guy who modded the. Uh, oh yeah, get, let's get some slippy up in our Street Fighter. Who fixed the game? Yeah, get slippy like, up in our Street Fighter. Just, I mean, I, 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 there are worse netcodes. I'll admit, there are worse netcodes in Street Fighter Five, but like Soul Caliber. <laughs> Yeah, Street Fighter Four as well. <laughs> now, see, oh, I I never I never really had too much of a problem with Street Fighter Four, but I, it, it's oh, it, oh, and Sam Show, yeah, Sam Show, yeah, is, Sam Show, yeah, mm -hmm. mm, Sam can, Show mm -hmm. is is Parsec fodder. If you're not playing yeah. Sam Show on Parsec, then you are oh, leaving all yeah, these frames I, on the table. <laughs> I I am very much feeling for you guys who don't play Sam Show. That isn't on Parsec. The game is great. Mm. I think that game deserves way more attention than it actually gets. However, it it's just just not fun to play. Code, yeah, that code is unfortunately very rough. Yep, and uh, I, I they they did put uh, rollback into Fexel, which I understand made that like yeah. I yeah, mean, it was already did. fun to play, but it just made it extra super fun. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure, like, everyone I've heard who saw, like, they got a rollback, they wanted to, like, like, oh, man, this is actually kind of neat. Yeah. I kind of want to try this game. It's got Terry. Yeah, of course. That's the that's a big, you know, that's what uh, suddenly made the Switch go platinum in, in South America. <laughs> no, <I'm> just... Yeah. <laughs> but, but, yeah, uh, no. Yeah. Uh, so we're, we'll, we'll cash it in for tonight, folks. Thank you for joining us. Uh, please remember, it's still, uh, it's still a little dangerous out there. Uh, please wear your mask, wash your face, practice good uh, social distancing and sanitary practices because uh, we want you guys to stick around and come back and uh, hopefully one day see you IRL at, at the bigger events like uh, Frosty Faustings or Combo Breaker or whatever else I can get my, my lumbering vehicle to, to make the trek to. Uh, that's it for tonight. Thank you everybody for watching Magic Melee. Remember to check out the full HD VOD on YouTube. And uh, keep an eye out because we've got uh, we're we're back on track for making the monthly clip videos, so uh, those are always fun. And uh, that's it for us tonight. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful evening, and we'll catch you back here on Monday, if not sooner. Peace. Bye.